All right, so welcome to our first lesson in Unit 2 on factoring. So 1 times 24 is 24. 2 times 12 is also 24. 3 times 8 is 24. And 4 times 6 is also 24. So it says, what are all the possible ways to make 24? What I'm talking about, well, there's 1 times 24, and I tend to do it this way. There's 2 times 12. There's 3 times 8. There's 4 times 6, and 5 doesn't multiply to make 24. So I think that's all the ways to multiply to make 24. And what are those called? Those are called the factors of 24. All right, so I want you to underline the factors in these problems and circle the product. Well, 5 and 7 are factors. And when you multiply two factors, the answer is called a product. Right? The product is the answer to a multiplication problem just like the sum is the answer to an addition problem. So 8 and 6 are the factors, 48 is the product. 3 is the factor, right? You don't really say factors twice in this context. 3 is the factor here, but it's 3 times 3, and 9 is the product. All right, so we're going to find all the factors. Now, people have different methods, but I like to work toward the middle, right? Because there's always 1 times the number, so 1 times 14. And then I work toward the middle. Now, that's an we're going to use our divisibility rules, right? That's an even number, so 2 must be a factor. And whatever multiplies with 2 must also be a factor. Notice 1 plus 4 is 5, so 3 is not a factor. 4 doesn't multiply to make 14. 5 doesn't end in a 0 or 5. 6 is, is not a factor. And so that's it. It's 1, 2, you know, and if you feel like to make it neater, those are all the possible combinations to multiply to make 14. So notice how I worked toward the middle and then I eliminated uh, the ones in between. You're going to use your divisibility rules today. So let's see. 52 is a little harder than 14, right? Because there's 1 and there's 52. Now it's an even number, so 2 must be there. So we have to maybe figure out 2 goes into 52, 2 times 2 is 4, remainder 1, bring down the 2, 2 goes into 12, ah, oh, it's 26. Now you could have also done it, well, you know 2 times 25 is 50, so it's 2 times 26, that's 52. You could have done that. Now, well, what, now how do, well, there's a lot of space in here, so how do we know there's no other factors? Well, couple of ways. One, think about the times table you fit, filled out the first day with me. Was 52 anywhere on that times table? Uh, the answer is no. The answer it was not anywhere on that times table. Um, so if you realize, that's why you really need to know that times table. It was nowhere, all right? Because the two times table on that times table only went up to 12, two times, you know, 48. Didn't, uh, I mean, to 24, I'm sorry, did nowhere near 48. But there is nothing in between. But right, you could realize that 5 plus 2 is not a multiple of 3, so 3 is not there. There are tricks for other numbers like 4. They're just more complicated, so I don't really feel they're worth the time of learning. But if you look on the Internet, you, there's a trick for 4. There's a trick for 6. Uh, in fact, uh, 6 is only there if both two and three, as I've just told you the trick for six. To have six, you have to have both two and three in the list. So six is not there, five is clearly not there. That's not, seven times seven is 49. If you go through them all, that's all you're gonna find. One, two, 26, and 52. But that was a way harder than 15, right? Your divisibility rules will really help you. All right, so 20. So then there's one times 20, right? There's two times 10. 3 doesn't work, but 4 does, right? 4 times 5. Now notice, we got to the middle. Now we're 
this one you're a hunt you should be a hundred percent sure you got them all because we got right to the middle which was four and five right there's nothing between that here this was a lot harder okay all right so find all the factors of 65 so there's one and 65 there's no way two can be there right there's no way three can be with there or nine because it adds up to 11. four for all the four times table all ends in even numbers it doesn't end in any five so that's a, a little trick uh but the it ends in a five so we know six five is there right so five goes into six once five goes into 15 three times so 13 is there right so 5 and 13 6 well, that doesn't seem to work 7 that's not a, think about 65 was 65 on the times table no it wasn't right because the times table only went up to 12 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 none of them are there those are all the factors of 65. now if you weren't sure about one you could check oh, it's just 65 is it divisible by uh, 9 well no because 7 times 9 is 63 you get a remainder right all right a number with factors of 1 in itself is called prime right we're going to do more about prime in the next lesson right but right this only has factors of 1 and 13. 17 only factors of 17 are 1 and 17. those are called prime numbers when they only have one and itself All right, we're already practicing, so I'll find all the factors. Well, there's 1 and 21. There's no way there's 2 there, but 3 definitely goes into 21. 3 times 7 is 21. 4 doesn't work. 5, it doesn't end in a 0. 5, 6, doesn't, right? The 21 is not on the 6 times table, and so that's it. All right, now, a lot of people think 51 is prime, but it's not. You should know right away that it's not. All right, so we have 1 and 51. But 5 plus 1 is 6. So what does that mean? That's an odd number. So there's no way there's 2, but there is 3. Right? This is why we learn these divisibility tricks. So 51 divided by 3. 3 goes into 5 once. Remainder 2. Bring down the 1. Oh, 3 times 17 is 51. All right. Now, was 51 on a 12 by 12 times table? It was nowhere on there. It's not on the 4 right it's not on the five clearly it's not on the six it's not on the seven eight or nine or any others all right if you're not sure about one you can check it find all the factors of 100 knowing all, you should memorize this list i'm going to help you but knowing all the factors of 100 is very important there's one in 100 it's even right because it ends in a zero so there must be two times something 2 times 50. 3 doesn't work. All right, but 4 does. So 4 times what? Right? Well, 4 quarters and a dollar. 4 times 25. Ends in 0, so 5 must be there, right? 4 times 25 works, and it's 5 times 20 that works. 6 doesn't work, 7 doesn't work, it's not on the 6 or 7 times table, it's not on the 8 times table, it's not on the 9, oh, but it ends in a 0, so it must be on the 10 times table, and now we're in the middle, and we're done. Those are all the factors of 100.